Okay, <clears throat> good evening. Uh, welcome to the special council meeting uh, in City Hall on Monday, July 1st, 2024. Let the record show that all councilors are present tonight. Uh, could we have approval of the agenda? So moved. So moved by Councilor Bayless, supported by Councilor Swiberger. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. We have one consent agenda, authorize the Hibbing City Council to attend the Hibbing Pickleball Courts ribbon cutting on Wednesday, July 10, 2024 at 503 East 16th Street. Wishes of the Council. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda as read and published. We have a motion by Councilor Hoffman Sockman, support. Support. Support by Councilor Faso. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. And I'll move on to apartment committee reports. Uh, before we start, I want to thank everybody for showing, showing up tonight and showing up last Wednesday. I have a statement I want to read as mayor uh, before we move on to the remainder of this uh, council meeting. Basically, being a good mayor or counselor comes with many responsibilities. One responsibility, or maybe the most important responsibility, is being a good listener. It's also about being a good problem solver and working to find solutions to difficult issues. As a council, we heard about the need from HR Director Ms. Prescott about the condition of our existing HRA Green Haven Housing Complex and the need for new affordable workforce housing for HRA residents, which is 380 residents, 68 families, 252 units, is what the HRA manages. It is a neighborhood. It is a community. We listened as she explained the HR's proposal of building new housing on the footprint of the Cobb Cook Park. We asked, why Cobb Cook Park? Ms. Prescott said the HRA looked at numerous properties and explained why they were eliminated or not considered as options before selecting Cobb Cook Park. It was mentioned that Cobb Cook site was the most affordable parcel ready property for the building proposal and that it met all the criteria and checked all the boxes required for state funding application. As a council, we supported the HRZA request, but we did not know how we as a council could partner with HRA to create more options for this new housing project. We also did not reach out to our Cobb Cook residents and for feedback about their thoughts, concerns of converting an established urban city park into an affordable workhouse, workforce housing. That brings us to today. We have listened to the Cobb Cook residents. We have listened to the HRA about partnering to make another property option viable for this affordable workforce housing project. In closing, the city and the HRA want to provide the best possible housing for the over 380 Hibbing residents that are part of an HRA community and I hope that we can move this endeavor forward together. With that being said, we will open up number one discussion regarding uh, HRA housing, if anybody else has any other questions. Hearing none, we'll move to number two, which is a motion to consider rescinding the purchase agreement between the City of Hibbing and the Hibbing Housing and Redevelopment Authority for Cobb Cook Place Parcel 1400010-01120. This was previously approved at the June 5th, 2024 Hibbing City Council meeting. Hearing what I had to say, wishes of the council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Fossil. Support. We have support by Councillor Hoffman Sockerman. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Three, we consider is consider discussion on parcel 139-0050-4676 for potential HRA application and agreement. So at this time, we will just have discussion. I would like to start with uh, Mr. Green first, if he might come up from planning and zoning. I know you have to be somewhere else, but if you can just respond to this piece of property that uh, 
we, we are considering uh, at this time. Yes, uh, Mayor and Council, the parcel that's being considered is zoned R2, one to four family resident right now. It's adjacent to R3, which is multifamily, and I1 is to the east of it, light industrial. So the applicant, if this parcel works out, would have to do a zoning amendment with the, through our office with the Planning Commission to rezone it to R3 or R4 multifamily. The other option is you can have a plan development, which would have mixed use, which would be multifamily. And let's say the HRA wanted some neighbor, neighborhood commercial, which would be maybe a grocery store, a doctor's office, et cetera. So if that parcel works out, um, it would be rezoned right now, it's vacant. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be spot zoned. The parcel in Cop Cook, everything is R2 in that area. This would have been, you know, like an R4 right in the middle, sort of a spot zone. This would be adjacent to R3, Westgate and Grace Lutheran, I think. Okay. Any questions? Councilors, yes. Uh, Mr. Uh, is there, how, how big of a lot is it back there and would, would it require rezoning the whole thing now? The owner, well, right now the city owns it. It could be the city could apply to rezone it, what they own. Um, if HRA, if everything goes through, the, them as the applicant could apply to a rezone or plan development. If you get more property besides what we own, that could be included. It's all attached. Um, so it would become one parcel if you acquired more property. Okay. That... And is it is it right is it butted up right to more residential housing now, or is there a gap of space there in between? Right now, um, the residential homes uh, to the north are R two. This parcel is R two. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's. It comes, it butts up to our zoning of R3, which is to the west. It butts up to the zoning line. So it would make sense if you're going to have multifamily there, that would be rezoned pretty easily. Okay. And then road access to that area, I suppose that's another that department would, maybe get Yeah, that would be uh, for future discussion here. That wouldn't really be Mr. Green. Yep. Yeah. Councilors, any other question for Mr. Green? Thank you, Pat. Thank Appreciate you. It. Uh, so talk about uh, this alternate site. Uh, there is, there are some uh, uh, right-of-ways and there are some utilities that are close. Uh, so there would take, uh, unlike the Cobco parcel, which would have taken no city funding, uh, for the most part, just HRA. This will take some uh, city funding to extend roadway, uh, some utilities, but it would also open up property for other developments. So it's a two-way, it's kind of a win-win for the city. Uh, the other thing is we do have, uh, we have funding. We do have some mineral funding, which we work for during legislation that is specifically for HRA. Uh, or for housing, and I think some of that funding could be utilized towards this project. It was specifically for housing, and uh, HRA was the actual originally uh, name that we were looking for when we asked for this funding for this project. Mayor? Yes. So the money that um, IRRR had granted to the HRA. Yes. Will that be able to be transferred if we do this new parcel, this new development? Yes, I don't think it's, we would have to have that uh, uh, verified, but I don't think it would be, it shouldn't be any difference. The project is the same, okay. just the location is, uh, has, has moved. Okay, so. good. Thank you. Mr. Green did discuss uh, the R3 is important. It is an area that has, uh, 
housing, Park Place, I think it's not Park Place, so Westgate I think is, is also close to an adjacent property, so it's very similar multifamily. At this point, I think I'll have uh, Ms. Prescott come up and uh, talk to the city about both. Any other questions from the council before she speaks? I had one, Mayor. Yes. I, I don't know if it's too early to ask, but um, would a like would, would the plan call for like a road to be punched in off Ninth Avenue to access this property? Yes, that, you can see the road right away on the uh, to the west, the north of the Lutheran Church. Okay. There's a road right away, right there. Okay. Yep. And that's also the utility corridor where water and uh, sewer is already run up pretty far. So it wouldn't come in through the residential area? No, would, no. Okay. Right now it looks like it'll come off ninth. Okay. Any other questions? Ms. Prescott? All right, thank you, Mayor and members of the City Council. Thank you for allowing me to speak today on our Project Cobb Cook Park Apartments. Excuse me, Place Apartments. So as you know, we are pursuing funding to construct three buildings of 52 workforce rental housing units. The proposed complexes would include a three-story apartment building consisting of one and two bedroom apartments, as well as townhomes consisting of three and four bedroom apartments. This would replace the blighted Haven Court apartments, commonly known as the Greenhaven apartments. The new development would include 60 parking stalls, a play area, a basketball court, and a pocket park. The development would still be known as the Copcook Place Apartments for application purposes with the possibility of changing it at a later date if funded. Hibbing HRA provides public housing for the city of Hibbing. The HRA specializes in affordable housing units. They're offering subsidizing housing for those who qualify. Most residents are low income individuals <coughs> and families. The HRA aims to provide quality, safe, and affordable housing to those who may need financial support for subsidized housing. Cobb Cook Place Apartments would be the replacement of only 52 of the current 102 units at the Greenhaven Apartments. The new housing development would house a minimum of 110 people. The new proposed site is located at the 4,000 block of Fifth Avenue West. It is a better alternative for this project with the new partnership with the city and would allow for phase two of the project in the same area. Other benefits include proximity to resources such as daycare and shopping. This location may be a little less competitive site, but a worthwhile risk to have the long-term support of the community. The location would allow us to carry out a planned development, offering a more community feel with the possibility of mixed use such as commercial. The Cobb Cook Place Apartments development has an estimated cost of $25.5 million. It is contingent upon the success of the HRA's request for funding from Minnesota Housing's multifamily, excuse me, multifamily consolidated request for proposals for housing tax credit funding. Center City Housing, the HRA's partner on the Cobb Cook project, was recently awarded $1.9 million in housing grant from the IRRRB. This agency grant, in addition to the HRA's investment, plus support from the city of Hibbing, is a critical component to the competitive application to the RFP to Minnesota Housing. For the purposes of application to MHFA at this alternative site, the HRA must have site control on a buildable site. The HRA kindly requests the following items as part of the purchase agreement. The extension of utilities, building roads, soil testing consisting of balancing and remediation if required. As a reminder, we need to agree to a purchase agreement prior to the application due date of July 12th. If and only if funding is secured from Minnesota Housing, would the project move forward? HRA would learn of the possible funding award in December from Minnesota Housing. If the application is successful and all else falls into place in a timely fashion, including zoning, Ground could be broken as early as mid to late 2026. We'd like to thank the council and the city for taking another look at our project and considering alternatives. This would not have occurred without the additional diligence. We are also thankful to community members and their willingness to voice their concerns and opinions. As a result, this reevaluation has led to stronger partnerships, better communication, and a parcel of land to work with that is better than the initial site. The need for housing remains great in our community, 
And by moving this application forward, our community is paving the way for increased housing and a better housing stock for ourselves and surrounding communities. My hope is that through this process, other communities see us, the city and the HRA, come together with a new unified approach to housing. My other hope is that the questions that arose and the conversations that have taken place have helped our community to understand that low income housing is necessary for essential workers and those who have lacked support in their lives. With that, I'm open to any questions the council might have on this project. Thank you. Council. I got one question. All right, we'll start with Chris and we'll go clockwise. Thanks, Jackie. Um, you mentioned that like this wouldn't be um, enough room for like everybody that's currently at Greenhaven. I'm like, how how does it decide like who who would get to live there and the folks that where would the other folks go? Who gets to move from Greenhaven? Yes. We actually would work with a relocation team. This is something that has federal guidelines. So we would have to figure out a way that's fair and equitable through that process as far as give the residents options to move and then we would look at likely length of residency. So if they, if they wanted to stay for phase two, they could certainly stay, okay. potentially. Yes, Councilor Schweiberger. Um, so Ms. Prescott, as far as, there's been some confusion. I've had people call me and they're questioning the difference between when or the submission date that we're hearing, and they're thinking that submission date is a deadline, and what's like what's the difference in that? Just some clarity, and hopefully my responses that I've given out have been fairly accurate. Sure, um, I can understand why our team had actually initially had a July one deadline. We wanted to get it done before the July twelfth and prior to the Fourth of July holiday. A lot of it, these deals are very com complicated, and there are many components and many pieces that need to go into it. So essentially for something that large, we would set an earlier timeline. I think most people would likely for events such as this even, I mean, we couldn't plan this, but essentially, you know, you have to have that cushion for something this large. Councilors, any other questions? So we're looking at enough, we have enough time from here, from point A to point B to make everything work how we need. Yes, um, and we actually had a couple of consultants that were gonna go out of town, but they're willing to work through some of these things. So, you know, with the holiday coming up, but definitely well worth it, especially if the community is gonna support. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Part of this uh, complex you mentioned would also again have a park related to it. Absolutely. So a playground and park, so that would add an additional west side playground and park area rather than removing the one that correct okay Mayor? is oh go Sorry. ahead I, I just curious do we do we know if there's going to be any more of this land available around it i mean are we do we know what the surrounding area is going to be in the future um i think there are definitely options i know um some of it is city or puc owned as well as state so I think there are options for expansion there. Okay. It's something that we'll look into. Okay. I'll have to look back at the map and see how far that goes, but I'm just curious. I know we're going to have future projects, and I know that at some point there's going to be either expansion of this site or other sites mm -hmm. that we're going to have to identify, so just stay ahead. The existing piece of property we're looking at is five acres. Yeah. And then there is uh, property around, and then there is also some other property that might go up for uh, auction to the north, yeah. north uh, east. Mr. Mayor? Yes. So the utilities, do we have any water or sewer that's up to that parcel? Uh, as was uh, noted on the road right away on the north side, there is a six inch water main uh, that runs up uh, adjacent on the north side of the Lutheran Church. And there's also mm -hmm. a sewer. Okay. Sanitary sewer, or yes, yeah, sanitary sewer. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Mayor, I have a question. Yes. And we're, this is considering it, right? What if something, what if a big roadblock comes up? Of what? The, what if a big roadblock comes up midway through this three months down the road or something? Well, I this think, is that uh, option, right? This is, or this is an option. This is an option that we're yeah. looking at, and I, I think what, uh, 
the HRA is looking for is us to uh, have a comment section, comment time. Uh, we'll probably have a meeting next Monday, make a decision, allow uh, comments at that time, open, uh, open mic, and then make a decision because of the deadline uh, that has to be. And, and like any piece of property, we never know what's going to happen. I mean, that's, that's the shake of the dice. We're hoping there's no issues here. Uh, that's why the environmental impact would be probably one of the first things that needs to be done uh, is to see uh, if there are any environmental issues. Um, I know the environmental issue uh, statement can be turned in after the application, correct me if I'm yes. wrong, Ms. Prescott. So we know we can't do a lot of due diligence prior to that, but we want to make sure that we have an open time uh, another week for the residents to the direction that we might be going next Monday. Yeah. We're not making a decision here tonight. This is a discussion. Yeah. Yes. So just to just to kind of lead off of that, if we don't get this site, you know, in the shape we wanted and able to be approved, then we're back to the drawing board and reapplying in 25, correct? Hopefully. Correct. <laughs> if that were to happen. Well, we would do a lot of this work from the time where the application is submitted until we wouldn't, we're going to delay the construction on this until, um, mid-2026, essentially we're going to delay out our closing to give us time to really have an intentional yep. design of the, of the site versus just, you know, using the parcel and moving forward because they're, yeah. you know, and, and any can site typically by now we've done environmental. That's why some of the other parcels were out. But the, the fact of the matter is we've already spent all the pre-development money and I do believe this site could very well work. Um, so, you know, if it, if it does come back bad, then we just deny the money. We just reject the, okay. the award. Mayor? Yes. Thank you. Um, Ms. Prescott, um, you had had um, some, one of your residents come forward and speak. How do your residents feel about this parcel? Are they as excited or? Yes, they are. Some of them had to talk to me because initially, as you can imagine, they felt abandoned. But I told them, no, this is actually better. This is better than we could have imagined, quite frankly, um, with the partnership that has opened up with the city. Um, because we are looking, as we said before, to plan development where it could be more of a community and, you know, that was part of the mission that the HRA board has always talked about is not wanting to simply keep everything, you know, sectioned off into low income. And statistically, they've seen that having mixed incomes living together really is highly effective. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, at, at this point, I think what we need is uh, probably a motion for a meeting for next Monday at five o'clock. So moved. So moved by Councillor Faso. I'm, I'm curious, just not to be not to be that guy, but is anybody else being going to be at the CMMF thing Monday? The what? Um, the CMMF fundraiser outing. Oh, not that I we can't can skip it, but it's. Is, is Tuesday, I mean, we want to make sure we have a Tuesday work. Luke, are we on Tuesday? Okay. The, 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 the HPU could defer that meeting if we needed Tuesday. Greg, thoughts on this? Or we could go Wednesday, I guess, too. That'll cut it. Well, that, would, that uh, would Wednesday work for you, Ms. Prescott? What's the date Tuesday on Wednesday? or Wednesday, 9th, uh, 9th or 10th? The 10th would be fine, yes. If we could, if you do vote to ask the resolution, we could get the purchase agreement quickly. Um, our team is kind of already, as a pre, um, a bit basically to prepare for this, so we've started changing all the documents because quite frankly, um, we certainly don't wanna build somewhere where the residents are upset, so we're not even gonna consider the cop cook anymore. Yeah. Um, so we've, we're just working diligently to get all the paperwork changed to the new parcel. That'd be the last piece, would be the PA. Would Wednesday work for everyone? We already have a meeting. Right. Today. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> of course, we have a meeting on Wednesday. Okay, so, now well, we had a motion for, for Monday, so well, we need to yeah. do something different. Well, would you rescind your motion? Yes. Okay. So, we just stay with, we just added as a component of our Wednesday, Wednesday regular council meeting. So we, that works for me. we know that. Yeah, works. that works for me. Okay. Wednesday. Okay. 
I, if any other questions before she steps down from the podium. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Mr. Borland, do we need to um, rescind because Justin made a motion? He did. I did. I did. Yeah. Oh, you did. I missed that. Yeah, through it. Okay. Okay, so that, uh, that was rescinded. So we'll move on then. Uh, we'll put uh, the item and have uh, open forum at uh, Wednesday's meeting. So that being said, then we'll move on to license and permits. Approve the special event permit application request of the anchor to hold the yoga, sauna, and chill. 60 minutes vinyasa yoga at the anchor on Sunday, July 28, 2024 at 1937 2nd Avenue East. Wishes of the council. Motion to approve. Motion approved by Councillor Schreiber, support by Councillor Whitney. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. With that, I need a motion for adjournment. So moved. So moved by Councilor Bayless. Support. Support. Support by Councilor Fossil. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thank you, everyone.